Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to hack the new Gmail tabs. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We always record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Oh my god, they did it again. They gave Gmail a makeover, and it looks all different, and everybody who's sending out newsletters on a regular basis is panicking because they're going over into this promotions tab. Because guess what? <coughs> it's email marketing. So yes, a lot of people perceive that as promotions, even if the actual content of your newsletter is not really promotional, i.e. you've got nothing to sell, well, Come on, let's be honest. Back of those newsletters is the idea that hopefully somebody will like what you say so much that <clears throat> they'll go check you out and ultimately hire you for services. I mean, let's say that for some reason you were never going to, you were going out of business, right? Let's say you went out of business tomorrow. Would you still be sending your newsletter out? I mean, if yes, okay. You know, some people are probably going to say yes. Okay. Um, but let's face it, when you're doing email marketing, if you're using a program like Constant Contact or MailChimp, it's promotional, okay? It's a promotion, it's a newsletter. Now that doesn't mean that we don't wanna get them. Some of the newsletters we get, I love. I have a few that I love. In fact, this whole post was inspired by two different pieces of email correspondence I've had, one with Melissa Galt and a second with Chris Brogan, both of whom sent out emails warning you that their newsletters might come into this promotions tab and giving you tips on how to move it over into your primary. And Michael Stelzner of the Social Media Examiner posted a video on how to fix it by going in and starring and, you know, doing all kinds of things to make sure that you're, when you get the social media examiner newsletter, that goes into your primary box. But there is another way. The fact that you even see the setting means you probably never played around with your inbox settings in Gmail before. So come over here to this cog wheel, all the way to the right there. Come over here to settings. And let's go to the inbox settings. And notice how it has this kind of setup here where it's primary, blah, 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 blah. All these exciting features. Notice the inbox type is default. But look what happens if you do priority inbox. Oh my God. It's already changing for the better. Because now I can have my important and unread right on top always. And if I star something, that comes into its own section in between. I can add a section here. Apparently my third section is empty I'm not using it for anything here <clears throat> and then you can have everything else fall below you can show markers so you can mark messages and Google's pretty smart about learning who's important which senders are important or which email topics are important so it, over time it learns you and figures out how to code things so that it kinda knows what's important to you what's not and you can go in and change that so if I save changes and then if I go back to my inbox Look what happens. No more tabs. Woohoo! Sorry, I startled my dogs. Um, and just to give you an idea of what it looks like in real life with an email account that's actually being used and not a sample, I'll, of course, just kind of blur out the, uh, you know, client information or anything like that. But look at my inbox. See? I've got important and unread. I've got some things that I've starred. And then I've got everything else. So to me, this is a much better way to organize your email Anyway, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Post your comments and questions below, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.